I have decided to start this video with before and after pictures of the day by day skin healing process after the herbal peel treatment. So you will be able to see the full procedure after the before and after pictures and please if you have any questions and if you're considering having that type of treatment you can put your questions in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer every one of you so if you're not sure if that treatment is for you please don't worry you can ask any questions i'll give you my professional advice you can also go to my instagram page and send some pictures of your skin uh, without makeup so i can assess the skin and give you my professional advice so please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like that it means a lot to me hello everyone in today's video i will show you the herbal peel treatment the whole treatment the demonstration of the treatment what's the skin reaction how the treatment is performed in the clinic in my clinic in dermacure clinic so um you will have the full overview of the treatment and what to expect during the procedure I will be performing the very light herbal peel and usually that peel is um, uh, most suitable for people with acne but also that video is a second part of my um, herbal peel treatment which includes extraction and if you are interested to see how I'm performing a facial um, extraction of comedos and blackheads before the actual peel because what I want to do is to clear the skin and open the pores and also um, soften the, the skin so when I perform the peel actually the peel can go even deeper into the skin and also work easy if the skin is steeped before the procedure it will be easier for the herbs to work so we will start with cleanse facial cleanse we can also do a mild exfoliation but it's not um, a must then after the cleanse we will steam the skin to soften the cells soften the superficial layers of the skin and also perform extraction so we are going to start applying the peel and um, i will be adding just bit by bit on the skin um, are you ready Yes, mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna add here. And when I start rubbing the herbs, she will start feeling a bit of like sandy paper on the skin, but also a burning sensation. More I rub into the skin, more of a burning sensation she will start to feel. So I will be avoiding the cheeks. Um, I mean, not avoiding, but like not going to concentrate, I'm mainly going to concentrate on the um, chin and jawline area and uh, basically forehead because those are the areas we did extraction so I'm going to just wrap the herbs into the skin I'm really gentle because I don't need to press in order to have the result so I just need to gently gently add in I have a little bit of acid inside the peel which acid basically I, I have a little bit of salicylic acid 10% inside the herbal solution the herbal peel solution which is great for acne and of course in our case because we did extraction I would um, do that so I'm rubbing them going to the nose the treatment is absolutely amazing for fine lines, wrinkles, stimulation of collagen and overall How do you feel? Mm. Is it really burning? Yeah Can you tolerate it? Mm. So I will give her a little break I'm just going to stay like that 
just give her a tiny bit of break and I will carry on I'm very gentle gentle I really want to remove those blockages on the side of the nose, therefore I'm rubbing the herbs on the sides. And these are the movements we are going to use. A little bit more from the solution and we are almost done. How do you feel? I'm going to do just a little mm. bit of Okay. Mm -hmm. We can see a little bit of frosting of the skin because of the salicylic acid, but of course that will all be removed. We are doing mild peel because she doesn't have pigmentation, she doesn't have bad acne. So in our case, we're only going to be doing very, very mild peel. So, so what we usually do now, I don't like to do it with the um, gauze or sponges on top of her face because it's really painful and it's even more rubbing and more... Um, uncomfortable for the customer so I just wash it off straight away on the side um, just a little bit turn the head on the side thank you how do you feel just keep your eyes closed at all time. It's time to apply our mask. It's calming mask, so I have prepared that mask for her. It's really important to use mask so we can calm the skin.
I'm going to just use in a cotton pad and on the skin remove any traces, last traces from the mask and of course apply something again to calm the skin using the same products from the company and then um, mm -hmm. yeah like this just using a calming gel just gonna apply on the skin she might feel a little bit of stinging but not much and it will come very quickly so it's really good for the skin so we apply this now So I'm going to now just quickly apply the SPF. Just lift your chin for me, please. It's really calming. So SPF is really important. To protect the skin from any harmful UV radiation. Especially when we do the peels like that, which are in our case combination herbal, herbs and acid is really good because I um, would say that skin is even more photosensitive to light and we must protect it really thoroughly from the sun. 